This isn't as much of a news video as it is a public service announcement. There's something crazy going on in Splatoon right now, and it involves the hacking scene. Now, I know NW Player must be in on this at some point. Um, I'm not saying that you know she's the one doing this, but she must be aware of the problems that are arising from this whole hacking thing. Now, if we go to the article right here, big shout out to Pika Lenny for showing me this, and it's involving hacking with Splatoon and you and your save file potentially being in danger when playing with somebody that's using hacking tools on the online mode. So um, let's take a look at this exactly. Um, now, I read through this, of course, myself too, and like I said, this is information that you need to know to protect your save file in the future. The nutshell version, Anyone that hacks the game that's playing with like Octolings online or unreleased weapons online, if you play with people like that, or if you just get put into a lobby where somebody is using hacks like that, your save file could potentially be corrupted and you're not able to play your game with your stuff anymore. It's really scary. It, it, it's really scary in general because what if you have like really good weapons on that save file? You won't be able to access it anymore. So you need to be careful. And let's take a look at the details so you can you know inform other people as well too. If they encounter somebody who's hacking the game like that, to be aware of the steps to protect your save file. So Splatoon Hacker has apparently been spotted online and can destroy save files. Scary titles, man. It brings me in mind of um, all those missing go glitches that happened in red and blue and glitches that happened after the fact, too. This sounds like the stuff of nightmares. Damn right, man. It sounds like we're back in the fucking 90s with all those crazy glitches that would happen in the games back then. But a player has been spotted online who has the ability to completely ruin your Splatoon save file. What happens is your character won't load up when entering the main plaza. Basically, if you quit before they have left the online match or get stuck in the match as the offending player won't quit, then you can lose your save file. Here's the details which have happened on Reddit, excuse me, which have appeared on Reddit and the squid boards. 1. They're an octoling carrying the unreleased Hydra Splatling. In other words, they're clearly a hacker whose method has somehow screwed up the game RAM or something similar when trying to access an unreleased weapon early. You should not leave the room until they are gone, because returning to Booyah base is what messes up the save file. Their name apparently begins with a K and has numbers in it. Unfortunately, no one recorded the full thing yet. So this is something that recently happened, um, probably within the last 48 hours, people noticing that their save files got corrupted when playing with a certain player. You have to definitely protect yourself. If it was an NW player, it definitely would have come through. So I don't think anybody should put blame on her for this whole thing. but. Be informed. If you run into somebody like this, make sure you do not leave the game before they do. Um, hopefully, maybe that person doesn't even know that they're corrupting other people's save files. They're just using these hacking tools and just playing around, not realizing that they're fucking up all of our gear in the process. Um, if that person is watching this video who's hacking the game, running around in lobbies using Octolings and um, Hydra, uh, Hydra Splatlings, please don't do it anymore because you're fucking people up. Um, and if you remember, remember, the main thing right now is if you see somebody who's obviously hacking, stay in the lobby until they leave. If you don't, your shit could get twisted. You know, this is this is kind of bringing me back to why Nintendo took down some of NW players videos. Maybe they knew that something like this would happen. Maybe they understood the fact that if you use hacking tools on an online game like this, it could fuck up other people's save files in some form. I don't know that this video wasn't about debating whether Nintendo schematics were correct whether they were right in taking out someone else's videos, this is for you to protect yourself and your save data because we all know how difficult it is to get gear to the right levels that you need with the right abilities that you want because obviously it takes a whole lot of grinding and this would really suck if this happened to somebody. You don't want to lose all that progress. You don't want to lose your sea snails. You definitely don't want to lose your gear. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Please, please take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, have yourself a damn good one.